Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Taxpayers in declared disaster areas have more time to file tax returns to get COVID penalty relief. COVID relief? I'm not afraid of COVID at this point. I don't need no stinking COVID relief. Dang, government employees use COVID relief to do whatever they want, I swear. Well, the COVID party is over now, people. I need some, like, child relief or something by sending these kids back to school for good this time. And IRS, perhaps you could process some of my tax returns and, like, start answering the phone over there or something. COVID relief. Honestly, it's just a fancy term for government union members going on vacation in, like, the Bahamas or something. The last thing this country needs is more of this government, quote, COVID relief, end quote. Whatever. Dang, government and their euphemisms. But first, a joke. The Twitter cancel mob has been fired. No way that just happened. But at least they haven't been canceled. Why would they? I'm picking up your sarcasm. The public would like nothing more than to hear their story. Well, I should hope so, because I'm laying it on pretty thick. Possibly including videos of a lot of sad Twitter mob members pouting their way out the building, carrying a box full of yoga mats and frappe coffee cups. I swear I've seen a lot of stuff in my life, but that was awesome. But sorry about your car, man. It, it sucks. Those being their vital work utensils, exclaiming to the heavens, it's not fair. Instead of getting paid, the next time I do yoga and then drink espresso mochitos for six hours, I may actually have to pay for it. Like some peon. Three pints each at lunchtime. Sorry. Time. It's an illusion. Lunchtime, doubly so. They're like, that's no way for a Twitter mobber to live, man. Can we put your ego aside for a minute? Something important has happened. If there's, any, if there's anything more important than my ego on this ship, on this ship, I want to cut and shut right now. Hey! I mean, I've interviewed with like five other job locations, and not one of them even have a foosball table. I think you ought to know I'm feeling very depressed. Well, we have something that should take your mind off things. It won't work. I have an exceptionally large mind. Like, how do these employers expect you to wind down after morning meditation work? Life. Don't talk to me about life. I told one potential employer they better buy a foosball table or I'll stick the Twitter mob after him by calling him a hate-filled anti-foozer. Ambitious But you'd be better off selling ladies' undergarments in Hempstead. <laughs> I don't think anyone even knows what an anti-foozer is. I just made it up, but it sounds bad, doesn't it? I like... In the good old days... I could have gotten your average CEO fired by inciting the Twitter mob on him. Just call it him something like an anti-foozer or something like that. Many nights I put a blade to your throat while you were sleeping. Glad I never killed you, Steve. But this guy just laughed at me. As, as if he was in charge or something. Can, can you believe that? Mr. Dent, have you any idea how much damage this bulldozer would suffer? I just let it roll straight over you. Much. None at all. I've never seen a CEO act in such an entitled way. Top of the morning to you, girls. <laughs> Reap the whirlwind, Sheriff Brady. Reap it. COVID tax tip 2022-167, November 1st, 2022. Taxpayers in areas covered by certain federal emergency management agency disaster declarations may have more time to file their returns to qualify for penalty relief. There's a link to that under notice 2022-36. There's a link to that for their 2019 and 2020 tax returns. Notice 2022-36 states penalties for late filing certain tax returns and for not reporting certain required information on form 1065 or form 1120s uh, are waived or stopped if the relevant return was filed on or before September 30th, 2022. Taxpayers who reside or have a business in recently declared FEMA disaster areas have more time to file the return to get this relief. 
postponed deadlines. Areas with a deadline of November 15th, 2022 include counties in Missouri. There's a link to that here identified under FEMA's major disaster declaration 4665. Counties in Kentucky. There's a link to that here if you want more detail on that. Identified under FEMA's major das disaster declaration 4633. The island of St. Crux. Uh, there's a link to that here in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, members of the tribal nations. There's a link to that here of the Salt River Pima Maricoba Indian community. Areas with a deadline of February 15th, 2023 include Florida. There's a link to that here. Puerto Rico. There's a link to that. North Carolina, South Carolina. There's links to them here. Areas in Alaska. Link to that here. Identified under FEMA's major disaster declaration 4672. Uh, Hines County, Mississippi as well. And there's a link to Mississippi here too. So the relief applies to the failure to file penalty with a typically assessed at a rate of 5% per month, up to 25% of the unpaid tax when a federal income tax return is filed late. This relief applies to forms in both the 1040 and 1120 series, as well as others listed in notice 2022-36. Unlike the failure to file penalty, the failure to pay penalty and interest will still apply to any unpaid tax. The failure to pay penalty is normally 0.5% per month up to 25%. The interest rate is currently 6% compounded daily. There's a link to the interest rate here. Some tax returns are not eligible. So penalty relief is not available in all situations such as where a fraudulent return was filed. So obviously for frauds in case where the penalties are part of an accepted offer and compromise or a closing agreement or where the penalties were finally determined by a court. For complete details, taxpayers should read Notice 2022-36 available on IRS.gov. Other penalties, such as failure to pay penalty, are not eligible. However, taxpayers may use existing penalty relief procedures for penalties not eligible under Notice 2022-36. More information about existing procedures is available on the penalty relief page of IRS.gov. There's a link to that here. This relief does not apply to 2021 returns. Taxpayers should visit Disaster Relief page. There's a link to that here of irs.gov for more information about tax year 2021. So if you want to dig into all this relief stuff, there's links to all the stuff I said there was a link to here, and there'll be a link to this in the description.